What's up, cloud gaming peeps? Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got all the latest news from the GeForce Now team at NVIDIA with some exciting updates. With eight games coming to the platform this week, including five brand new releases. So let's dive right in. One of the biggest announcements is the introduction of day passes for GeForce Now, which launched today. This will allow gamers to get 24 hours of continuous access to the GeForce Now platform with all the benefits of an ultimate or priority membership, but without the commitment of a longer subscription. Yay! This is a great opportunity to try before you buy, or at least before you commit to a whole month. Look, I've raved enough on this channel about how incredible GeForce Now Ultimate is. So, uh, you know, check my review. The Ultimate Day Pass will cost $7.99 and give you access to 4K at 120 frames per second streaming and up to 240 frames per second. You get ultra wide resolutions, DLSS3, and NVIDIA Reflex for smooth, low latency gameplay. The Priority Day Pass is $3.99 and still gets you RTX on and faster access to the servers. These day passes will be in limited quantities each day, so you'll want to grab them quickly if you just need GeForce Now access for a day of heavy gaming. Speaking of games, the highly anticipated Grand Blue Fantasy Relink action RPG from Psy Games is now available to stream on GeForce Now. This is a full-fledged spin-off title set in the Grand Blue Fantasy universe, letting you step into the shoes of a Sky Captain, adventuring with crew members like the Dragon Vern. With support for multiplayer co-op, RTX graphics, and longer priority Ultimate member sessions, GeForce Now seems like the perfect way to experience this epic ARPG across your devices. And, you know what, if that's not enough to give GeForce Now Ultimate a go, there's a real cool update for the GeForce Now app that adds official G-Sync support for cloud gaming, along with the new 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second streaming options with Reflex enabled. NVIDIA claims this combination can deliver ultra low latency streaming that feels indistinguishable from a local gaming PC. Look, as I said, trust me, I've used Ultimate for a long time now and it does feel like you're playing on a, a $2,000 plus dollar gaming rig, even if you're just using a cheap Chromebook. But Grand Blue isn't the only new addition. NVIDIA also highlighted seven other new game releases coming to the GeForce Now library this week. There are six new releases on Steam. We've got the Thermiturge, Wield Arcane Power, Manipulate Minds, and Banish Demons in the Dark, Turn of the Century, Warsaw Mystery. Discover the power of Thermiturges and the price you'll pay for wielding it. Classified France 44. Here you sabotage Nazi operations behind enemy lines in occupied France. Become a shadow warrior of the resistance. It's got espionage, subterfuge and thrilling historical action all awaiting you in this stealth action. Expeditions a mud run game. Conquer the unforgiving Siberian wilderness in your trusty truck. Battle mud, snow and ice to deliver vital cargo. Think you know off-road driving? Uh-uh. The Extreme Trucking Challenge will test your mettle. And if you like winter, winter survival. Outsmart the deadly wilderness. Hunt, build shelter and craft tools to endure a harsh, frozen world. Can you brave the unforgiving elements and conquer the brutal beauty of winter? Taxi Life, a city driving simulator. Navigate bustling streets, pick up quirky passengers and become the ultimate urban cabbie. Experience the highs, lows and unexpected encounters of life behind the wheel. And also joining GeForce Now from Steam this week, we have Zoria Age of Shattering. Build your hero, forge alliances and conquer a vibrant fantasy world in this tactical RPG. Shape your own adventure in a realm of magic, monsters and endless possibilities. And ding ding, undisputed. Train hard, fight harder and claim your championship belt in this most realistic boxing sim ever. 
master the sweet science with authentic moves, strategy, and a roster of real-world boxes. So, lots of fresh content incoming across genres like strategy, survival, simulation, and of course, much, much more. Those are all the major beats I wanted to cover from NVIDIA's latest press release, with the addition of convenient day passes, a big new ARPG release, plenty of new games, and tech enhancements for smoother cloud streaming. There's a lot for GeForce Now members and newcomers to be excited about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on all of these updates. Are the day passes something you think you're going to be utilizing? Are you excited to play Grand Blue Fantasy Relink? As I said, share your reaction in the comments down below. And of course, please don't forget to hit the likes because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you are new to my channel, well, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with all the latest GeForce Now news. So stay tuned for more cloud gaming news later this week.